Welcome to my math class. I wonder what my students are up to. Hmm. Hey, Miss Yan. You said the conditional probability is finding the probability of A, given that B has already happened. Yeah. And the notation is probability A given B equals probability of A and B divided by probability of B only. That vertical bar between A and B means given the condition. Yes. But I still don't get it. Well, let me explain with Venn diagram, perhaps. As we know, on the left circle is probability of A. On the right, the blue one is a probability of B. Now, in the middle part is the probability of A and B, which is also, we say, A intersection B. Now, because the question is already told us that B is happened and we want to know the probability of a among that probability of b so we don't divide by the total outcomes like sample space like we normally do in this case we only dividing by the probability of b because that's the given condition and with that given condition, we just want to know the probability of A in that. Oh, I see. Now, perhaps we can do this question. The probability of a student passing in English is a 3 over 5. And the probability of the student passing in both English and maths are half. What is the probability of that student passing in Mass knowing slash given that he passed in English already. Well, let me think about this. It's probability of mass given that English is already passed. So we will need to know probability of maths and English and dividing by probability of English only. Yes, that's right. And um, from the question... I think the probability of uh, math and English is half, the passing the math and English. And the probability of English, just passing English, is a 3 over 5. So we just have to divide it. And that, using calculator, I'll get 5 over 6. That's correct. Well done. Now, let's think about this a little bit more. Now, what does that 5 over 6 really mean? It means that if we can convert that into percentage, it's about 83%. So, this means about 83% of chance that you will pass maths knowing that you already have passed English. Oh, I see. Wow, maths is really fun when you know how. Thanks, Miss Yan. Bye.